I've got a question about this. You're four and a half year olds. And I struggle with this because the question becomes how much screen time should they have? How much tablet time should they have? And the old adage is, oh, you have to limit that and so forth. I'll just give one example. And my jury is still out on this, but they use YouTube for kids on their tablet. And what they'll do is they'll go and they'll click on the little microphone button. And one of my sons will say, robots flying through space. And of course, an AI is listening to your voice, coming up with the search, and then finding all videos of robots flying through space, and they'll click on what they want. And so there's this interaction with the world that they have that whatever they're interested in, they ask about it, and all of a sudden it's there mm -hmm. instantly in high definition. You can see, you know, in the future, talking to your car, you know, you're saying, how are you feeling today? Well, you know, there's a few things that I think should be looked at here. Yeah, my tires are kind of uh, low. My tires, you, you know, I'm, I'm just feeling a little saggy on the left-hand side here. Could you? <laughs> could, <laughs> so, I mean, that again goes back to the sensor networks that we were talking about first. But the, this is why it's intimately connected with artificial intelligence, because those sensors are either alert, curious, responsive, or, and resourceful, or they're not, depending upon the artificial intelligence yep. that interprets the messages. Absolutely.